Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In the last video, I was showing the winding process of the oscillator coil. Let's look at the design spreadsheet that I put together. You can see the items in red. That would be the input items, uh, 520 to 1590 for my bandwidth, in addition to the IF frequency of 456 kilohertz. As you can see for this particular receiver, the oscillator runs on the high side. So I'm just taking the broadcast frequencies plus the IF of 456 for line number eight. And then the first formula here, I'm taking the 2046 and I'll divide that by the 976. We'll square that number minus one. Up next, I measured the oscillator section of the uh, variable capacitor. Again, with the trimmer screw backed all the way out the trimmer on this uh, capacitor, uh, 20 picofarad. So 175 minus 12 equals the 163. And then you can see we have a difference ratio. You can see the formula for that. Again, that being the 163 divided by the 3.3945 gives us the difference ratio of 48.0185. In one last formula to calculate the inductance in microhenries, which brought us back to 126.01. Now what I ended up doing was having a range of around 119 to 126 in my case. Thus, when winding the oscillator coil, I went for the high side and then used that piece of aluminum rod in the core to reduce the inductance as needed. Again, with the receiver itself specced at 540 to 1580, if you look at the dial scale and then the wiggle room on the tuning condenser, you can see my design itself for the broadcast oscillator and shortwave oscillator. I went 10 kcs or 10 kilohertz above and below. And then you can see my note as well on the tickler coil, that being the primary, was about 40% of the number of turns in total that were applied across the broadcast oscillator section and the short wave section of the coil. There are many online calculators. This is the one I used. Seemed to work out uh, well for the exercise. The short wave band, as I mentioned, again, using a, a 32 AWG wire. That's my first winding that I was completing, shooting again for 32.84 microhenries. I came in just under that. And you can see the length of the coil was uh, nine millimeters. So I marked the bobbin and wound just past that point. And then another mark at 25 millimeters from my start point for the broadcast span. So when I got to that point, I went just past that. And of course, just remove turns as necessary to achieve the uh, 120 six roughly micro henrys and again in this particular spreadsheet the same formula is used again for that calculation of the uh, police band or short wave band for the uh, oscillator section that i just covered and one more thing i went on and did the design for a new antenna coil untested i did not wind once i'm not sure theoretically if the uh, numbers work out but uh, thought I would share that as part of the uh, spreadsheet as well for those that uh, would find the reference material helpful. I just finished cleaning up the lead dress to get the oscillator coil back in place. So uh, let me go ahead and grab it and I think we're ready to go. As you guys can see, I finished getting the old paper and wax caps out of the receiver. In addition, all the uh, resistors that were out of tolerance replaced. And I've got my hand-built oscillator coil in place. And uh, I've been able to bring this thing up. You can see the rebuilt loudspeaker to the left. that has the uh, new cone after uh, building a new fuel coil that was open. 
I've done a quick alignment of the receiver and it seems to be tracking really well. A small adjustment with the uh, variable inductor that I uh, made using a piece of aluminum through the core and the oscillator adjustment here and the antenna adjustment here. This is the uh, trap for the IF frequency and the two IFs I just tweaked by ear at this point just a bit from where they were found. I'll flip this thing back around in just a moment, show you guys the uh, dial tracking. You hear the tone control. So 600 AM, you can see it's tracking, and then way off in the distance, I've got 550 AM. Really just can't pick that up at this point because of my lights on in the shot, but uh, it's very faint at best. And uh, another good marker here, 1440 AM. The tracking looks good after doing the alignment. Again, there's a little tweaking still to be done. And I trust that you'll excuse my dust when I step on the gas. For I'll be there. And again, at this point, I haven't uh, cleaned up the chassis. There's still some rust. And other things to do, and you can see I've got a temporary dial scale in place that I scanned and recreated some time back for a uh, similar model or the same model. So I'm going to uh, re reproduce the uh, dial scale when the uh, weather permits. I need to uh, spray some paint when it warms up. All, the, all those things. Accidentally. Now, whether you take the proof of vaccine or not is another issue for health reasons. Facility, and you get 24 7 access to telehealth from the convenience of your home. Better yet, Medishare is a Christian non profit organization. The short wave band is also functional and it's tracking pretty close within uh, 50 to 75 kilohertz. I think my inductance may should have been just a little bit higher but uh, there's really no activity on the uh, particular short wave band you can see running from roughly 1580 kilocycles up to uh, 4200. We'll flip over there just for a minute. The band switch is here on the back. I think I can hear maybe an AM station around 1600, 1580, somewhere in that area.
So again, not much going on in this uh, particular part of the band with a 10-foot uh, wire antenna. Again, the uh, receiver tops out about 1570, 1580. The oscillator tracking seems to be uh, almost spot on. By the way, there's no adjustment for the short wave band. It's all done by the inductor itself and the uh, tuning condenser. I appreciate you guys watching. It's been a fun project winding an oscillator coil, building one from scratch for the first time. It was great to see it work. More to come on the receiver once I get it back together. Probably won't do any more work on it until probably spring. Get the new dial scale put in when the weather permits and then in my spare time Go ahead and do some of the uh, rust removal on the uh, chassis itself. Get this thing back together and then just clean up the uh, old wooden cabinet. Got to decide what to do on the uh, grill cloth. May try to reuse that if all possible. Again, I appreciate you guys following along.